Thank you, Cyril. Let's start with uh, uh, some numbers. Um, I promise I'm not, I will not be long on this one. Just as Cyril mentioned, financial services is 30%, 30% of Soprasteria revenue. Uh, we have 10,000 experts expert dedicated to financial services sector. And as Cyril mentioned, Soprasteria was born 50 years ago in the financial services sector. So that's why we have an incredible client base. Of course, we have big banks, tier one, but we have also middle-sized company. We have a, 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 a number of financial institutions all around the world. Uh, and, we, and the question is how are we going to leverage this client base? Just uh, talking about the market, when we talk about digital disruption, usually we look at the US. When we talk about digital disruption in financial services, I prefer to look on Asia Pacific. Remember 2015? 2015, it's when Jack Ma, uh, in the same keynote, uh, launched the Smile You Pay uh, feature for the its payment system on Alibaba. So I think it was the best uh, feature for a payment, Smile You Pay. But the key thing, it's also, he also launched My Bank. So he said, I know better uh, my customer than any kind of financial institution because my customer comes to see me on my mobile or website eight times per day. So it was also a, a response of uh, Tencent because Tencent also launched WeBank uh, the same year, uh, leveraging WeChat, and it was also the beginning of the super app. So for me, everything started in 2015, when financial institutions understood that they have to enter in what we call the digital battlefield. So seven years after, uh, we can say that they have been successful to entering in the digital battlefield. 85% of the clients of the financial institutions go to the website at least once a month. Every branch visit triggered at least 50 connections on the mobile application. Now in 2022, 80, 90% of a, a financial institution uh, interaction with its clients will be on mobile. So they all have been extremely successful to build digital customer experience. But digital customer experience doesn't mean digital business experience. And the problem that they have, all those financial institutions, it's 95% of the interactions between a financial institution and its clients are now digital, but they trigger only 10% of their revenue. And that's what we call the click to cash problem. The click to cash problem, it's, it's uh, exactly the, the fact that all the financial institutions and enter in the digital battlefield, brought by the digital pure player, they did half of, the, half of their transformations. They have created a beautiful digital surface. They all have the five stars rating. All the digital customer experience are super elegant, but they, they don't have the ability to turn those digital connections into cash. They don't have the ability to turn these digital connections into money, because they don't have the same assets that the digital pure player have. They are not able to leverage enough an ecosystem of partners. They are not able to leverage enough the data, their data. They are not sufficiently obsessed by the client needs and the client behavior compared to the digital pure player. And the, the time to market for their services and their products it's too slow compared to the digital pure player. And turning click into cash, it's what at Soprasteria we want to focus on. It's how we're gonna, uh, every service offerings that we're gonna build, it's to help companies to turn clicks into cash. How we're gonna do that? First, uh, as uh, Cyril mentioned, we have a unique, and it's, it's clear that to say that we have this unique uh, range of capabilities. Of course, we have integrations capabilities that are able to integrate 
um, robust system, but also at the same time innovative enough. We have all the consultants that has a strong domain expertise. And of course, we have the product that uh, makes us able to create a strong value proposition and almost a turnkey solutions to our clients. And, but Eric uh, will come back on this. Just one word, one word on the, on the uh, ecosystem management. Last week, uh, we have selected with uh, Truffle Capital and with BPC, the top 100 fintech in French. And just to give you the data point, um, when you aggregate the revenue of those, of those 100 fintech in the French market, the revenue is more than 1 billion euros. It means that the revenue of the top 100 fintechs in France, it's more than 20% of the software market in France in these sectors. So this means that the pace of innovation is incredible. And that's why we have, uh, at Soprasteria, defining a system where we try to follow as much as possible the pace of the innovation. Of course, we have our own uh, research centers. Of course, we leverage all the signals from the geography that we where, where we have businesses. Of course, we need to work more with you to, to test our assumptions and also to get your insight from your market research. But we have also created Soprasteria Ventures. And I want to illustrate the Soprasteria Ventures with the partnership that we did with a, a, a unique European fund called Truffle. And Bernard Louis, please illustrate this uh, uh, partnership that we have with Truffle. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me. I'm uh, honored. My name is Bernard Louis Rock. I'm a repeat entrepreneur and general partner and co-founder of Truffle Capital. Truffle Capital is a venture capital fund based in Paris, dedicated to financing technology and healthcare. And for the past seven years, we've dedicated and focused on fintech and insurtech. Within this scope, three years ago, we uh, raised a new fund to which uh, Sopra Steria participated and is an LP which started a new partnership, which is uh, now bearing fruit. Among the fruits, we have uh, shared deal flow on both sides, uh, opportunities, innovation, and we have materialized this uh, uh, collaboration with a couple successful examples of startup working with Sopra and Sopra Steria among which uh, Cake, which is a cashback solution, innovative, uh, from Belgium and working with a couple of uh, Sopra's uh, customers in Belgium. And we also have Particip, which is an open finance solution dedicated to zero code distribution of products for insurance and banks, and uh, which is uh, setting up uh, business uh, opportunities with Sopra Stereo. It was a pleasure to be uh, uh, invited here and thank you and have a good day. Thank you Bernard Louis. I'm really pleased with this partnership with Truffle Capital. For me it's the superb combination of the French flair and the French tech. Uh, just a few words on how do we build our service offering at Soprasteria Financial Services. Again, this service offering has been created to solve one issue that we think that the market is uh, having today and where we want to focus. So the service offering, it's not organized by capabilities, it's organized by business outcomes. And we have defined five domains where we build business outcomes to solve the click to cash problem. We spoke about that, the open ecosystems. We help clients and financial institutions to leverage a new ecosystem of business partners. And I will, I will come back on that. The second domain, it's customer centricity. 
where we build value propositions to make sure that the financial institutions are obsessed with client behavior, client needs. We think that the next generation of customer experience will happen soon, and we want all the financial institutions to be prepared for that. Intelligent processes, I will come back also on this point. Intel intelligent processes, it's the, the ability to transform, make more efficient all the front-to-back processes, more efficient, and it's key for the click-to-cash problem. It's key because we need more agility in the front-to-back processes. All the work has been done on the front office, and now it has to be uh, uh, related to the back office. The go-to-market agility, uh, of course, as we say, we need to speed up the ability for financial institutions to bring services and product to the market. But go-to-market agility, it's also the ability to have a clear segmentation of clients, and segmentation will be more and more thin. So go-to-market agility, it's also the ability to speed up product and services with a very clear uh, client segment. And at, uh, the last but not least, business resilience. We saw that in the last uh, years, uh, it is a, a super important topic. So business resilience, it's the ability to uh, have a, a, a businesses that is able to face crisis. Of course, uh, a business that is sustainable enough uh, in terms of processes, but also in terms of service and offerings, and also a business that is able uh, to manage uh, and to get all the uh, features for cybersecurity. So th that's the offering of Soprasteria services, combining consulting technology and products uh, organized by business outcome. I want to highlight uh, our service offering for open ecosystem because that's where we have uh, at, at this stage uh, uh, the best uh, success in the market. In this segment, we are able for all the value propositions to combine consulting product and technology services. We are able to leverage the asset of Sopra banking software for open banking platform, combining consultants that are able to define the API governance, having the ability for technology services to connect all those API, all this uh, API platform with the rest of the applications and bringing something uh, quick, robust, and sustainable for all the financial institutions to leverage their business partner. Of course, we have also the ability with our install base on core banking to, to leverage all the data, and Eric will come back on that, and propose new services on top of the core banking systems to leverage a new ecosystem of partners. And digital, digital payment, we have also all the solutions for instant payment request to pay. And this combination, we are able to now propose new payment solutions, new digital payment solutions, not only robust and secure, but also able to connect with a large uh, ecosystem of partners. So open ecosystems, it's really the segment where we have at least the best success combining consulting product and technology services. There is another domain where we have uh, a significant dynamic, it's intelligent processes. Like all the players, we have strong capabilities uh, in terms of consulting and tech services experts to leverage uh, all the data, uh, the automation processes, the process minings, and all those experts has now a significant know-how and knowledge to leverage uh, the product of Sopra Banking. And how do they leverage it? First, uh, they leverage the blockbuster of Sopra Banking, loans and collections. So with know-how of data, AI, uh, and, and process minings, we are able to propose loans and collections uh, we, to propose by a kind of uh, a, a services platform. And Eric will come back on that. But the new services that we just launched and we had a, a, a nice success, it's on ethical debt management where uh, we have, uh, let's say, condensed all this knowledge on AI and data, but the best person in the world to talk about the ethical management platform is Craig, 
And Craig, please over to you to illustrate the ethical debt management.